sometimes our struggle with obedience, our struggle with living a life for God, it's like we want to, we just can't. The question I've got to ask you is, do you know him? Do you know Jesus as your personal savior? Does his spirit indwell you? If you're placed on trial to prove it, can you point to something where you recognize the work of the Holy Spirit in your life? If you can't recognize the work of the Holy Spirit in your life, then it's either because he's not there or you're grieving and quenching him. Well, I don't want to do that. That's your flesh. Right above where I, yeah, I, quote, I quote the fruit of the Spirit all the time, that's in uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, 23. But if you go up to verse 16, chapter, Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, 17, 18, it's talking about this battle between the flesh and the Spirit of God for control, that they want opposite of each other. They're, they're, they're in cont- uh, contradiction to each other, that your flesh wants and your Spirit of God wants, and you're in this war all the time. I don't want to. Is, it, is I don't want to the Spirit of God in you, or is it, I don't want to the flesh in me? Because it could be either one. I want to. Is it the spirit of God in you or is your flesh in you? It could be either one. There's a battle that is raging and you've got, I can't decide for you, but I'm going to promise you that if you don't recognize the activity of the spirit of God in your life, one or two things are true. You are not saved. You do not know Jesus Christ, your savior. You can have head knowledge and be absent of his spirit and dwell in you, or he doesn't dwell in you. You are saved, but you're grieving and quenching him and you're missing all the benefits of him being in you. You're missing the ongoing transformation. So it's like, I don't know. I don't want to be transformed. We say things like this. I don't want to look weird. We, we, we answer for God. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. I don't, I don't want to feel uncomfortable. I, I would feel weird. That's your flesh. Those are lies from Satan. That's Satan twisting the truth of God to use against you to destroy, to kill, steal, and destroy in your life. When God, Jesus says, I'm coming to give you life. But you can't live life for him until you've received life from him. 